Hello. Uh, I'm going to try to cover some of the things that you asked about um, that we covered in the seminar uh, down in Indianapolis. Uh, one of the things I think where we started out with was talking about um, ways to create guides and then pulling images in and making templates um, using clipping masks. So I'm going to create a new uh, empty document. I already have some images open that will go into it, but we'll make a new empty document. We'll just make a square. And we'll start out, we'll try to create some guides that we'll use to place the images. Um, and you know that if you drag out from the side, you get a guide. And it just kind of can go anywhere. If you hold the shift key down, it will snap to the grid marks that are shown in the rulers. So this one is clipping to every quarter of an inch. Um, if I was zoomed in so you could see smaller grid marks on the ruler, it would clip or uh, snap to smaller increments. So I'm just going to go make uh, an even guide at three quarters of an inch around the outside of the image. So as I drag in from the top here, and I hold the shift key down, it'll snap. Now I want to add one to this side. So I have a horizontal line. If I want to do my vertical guide, if I hold down Option, it makes it go vertical. Then if I hold my Shift key down, it'll snap to the grid mark and the ruler, the tick marks. I'll do the same thing over here. Option flips it. Shift will snap. I have my 3 quarters of an inch. I like doing it uh, this way because it makes putting the guides in um, a lot quicker wherever, I might, wherever my cursor happens to be so I don't have to go clear to the top of the screen to uh, snap a guide. So I'm just roughing these in. Uh, I'm not sure how they'll work with the images but we'll see. So now I have my areas set out. I have a, a rectangle here, 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 and here that I want to put an image in. So I'm going to come over and make um, a new empty layer. I'll click the create a new layer icon. Grab my marquee tool and we'll start up here in the upper left corner. I'll draw one out there. And I'm going to fill that with my foreground color so I'm going to option or alt delete and put the foreground color there. I'm going to create another new layer sorry wrong thing another new layer and this one is going to go on the upper right and I'll fill that with black and make our third new layer we'll put that in the lower left fill that with black another new layer and fill that with black so now we'll start putting images in. I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to come down to that layer. And we'll put this image in that spot. So I'll drag it over. And now I need to clip it to where I want it to go. If I hold down the option key and I put the put the cursor between the lines. See how it changes to the little circles? If I move it up too far it goes away. And I click right there. It puts this little arrow where it clips the upper layer to the lower layer. So wherever there's a pixel in layer 1, layer 5 will become visible. And if these were instead of just black and white and shades of gray, it would show shades a uh, percentage of the upper image through. So if I transform this layer so I can if I transform that layer, there we go, position that over I want it to be so only the pixels are visible where there was something on layer one. So let's put an image over here in the upper right hand corner. Let's add this image in. So I'm going to drag that on top. 
going to hold down the option key and when I get on the line in between I can clip it. Command T to transform. Notice how when I bring it in it becomes visible. So we'll transform that to fit. Put one in the lower left hand corner. So I need to clip it to the layer. Transform that. Put our fourth image in in the lower right. So we need to clip it, hold down the Option or Alt key, click between the layers, Command T to transform. And there we've got that. Now, say we want to put styling around those um, images. If I go to not the actual image, but the layer that we're clipped to, so the black squares that we created. I double click on that, it brings up our layer styles. So here we're working on the lower left hand corner, down here. So if I want to put a stroke on that, I'll click on the, on the stroke, we'll select that. Say we put it inside. make it like six pixels and maybe we want to add some inner shadow to give it kind of a vignette look okay so now we can copy that layer style and put it on all of our other layers to make them all the same so if you hold down the Option key and you click on the FX, you can drag that to the other layer. And we'll keep doing that. Now if we hide our guides, and zoom in here a little bit, you can see the stroke that we added and then there's a sort of a darker little vignette on the inside. So if we look at the upper left corner one, that's layer one. If we turn the stroke on and off, you can see that. And that inner shadow we added, you can kind of see that turn on and off. So now, you sort of have a template set up that you could add new images to. All right, you've done the layout. You don't have to recreate where you want the images to go. All you have to do is replace, in this case, you know, layer 8, 7, 6, and 5, the images that we added. Your layer styles are on the background, um, so they're already set. You don't have to redo those. You know, you can add a background image to this if you wanted. So if we go select the background layer and we throw an image in here, it's going to drop behind if we make that really big. put her in here somewhere. You can see her. Something like that. You lower her opacity. And you got kind of a cool little template layout. Um, so that's how um, when I was showing working with uh, with the guides. Again if you use the uh, the shift key, it snaps to whatever ruler marks are visible in your window. And if you hold down the option key, it switches between horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to do a command H. I'm going to show my guides again. So if I drag a guide out, this is holding no keys down. It can go anywhere. If I hold the shift key down, it snaps to whatever ruler marks are there. If I hold the option key down, it flips it 
90 degrees. So it changes between horizontal and vertical depending on which ruler you started dragging from. Makes it really nice to set stuff up. And that'll be the end of the first video. And then I'll make a second video that will talk about the uh, soft light layer and painting in uh, light with, uh, with a soft light layer. So stay tuned for that.